Hey, student success. Welcome to week 12 of the semester. So we are approaching that 16 week finish line very quickly. So week 12 is chapter six continued. So under the lessons area, um, what I've done is I basically just took the week 11 video for chapter six and I just plugged it into week 12. So if you needed to go back and look again at the chapter six content, you can do so. If you are still familiar with it, then you are free to just kind of jump into the assignments. But I did want to plug again, because we are in week 12, your student services assignment is coming due in the next few weeks. So please make sure that you are registering for a workshop. Remember it is under academic support. It is under student success workshops and we are now in November. So we need to scroll all the way down and you can see there are still offerings in November. Some of these are Zoom and some of these are in person. And then you'll have just a little bit in December. So please keep that in mind if, if you have not registered and attended your workshop that that is coming due fairly soon. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop down here into my week. 12. Again, this is continuing the chapter six content from last week over preparing for and taking tests. In week 11, you did your discussion forum on the academic integrity piece. This week, you have two assignments, the chapter six assignment and a test or memory assignment. So I'm going to talk about each of these for just a moment or two. So chapter six assignment, there's actually three parts to this. So I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not terrible. The first thing you're going to do is go ahead and read the attached article. So you're going to click this open. It's going to open up into a PDF and it's, ter it's not terribly long at all because the first page is really mostly a picture. Uh, and then you have your text here. So it's a fairly quick read. Um, so that's the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and read this article. After you read the article, you're going to choose one of the following verbs in this table and write a short essay question about the article. So remember chapter six talked about different types of tests, um, one of which being an essay test, and we talked about different verbs and usages and things like that. So you're gonna put yourself in like the teacher position. If you were creating a test, a short essay question test over this article, which verbs or combination would you use? So like for instance, if you wanted to say compare and contrast or please justify and list, or you can just choose one, you know, please analyze or summarize, whatever you wanna do, create the question. Third, answer your own question. So you're creating a question, but then don't forget to answer it. So an essay question, just three to five sentences. So normally an essay question response would be a little bit longer than that. You're just doing an abbreviated version. So when you go in here into the chapter six assignment, you can certainly pull up a Word document and type it in there and submit it, or just to make it easy, just you know, write submission and then pose your question, whatever verb you're going to choose. Please illustrate the following reason, whatever it might be, and then make sure you give your answer. Okay, so again, you're creating an essay question using one of these verbs. Now, if you pull out another couple of verbs, I mean, obviously there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of verbs. So if you pull out another verb, that's okay. But if you want to stick to this list, it kind of just helps you really, you know, narrow it down. Um, you know, evaluate the reasons that so-and-so. So again, it's all based on this article. You're not just creating a random question. It's based on this article that you've read. Create an essay question and then answer your essay question. You can do that right in the submission area or you can put it in a Word doc and upload it that way. Okay, so that is your first assignment. So there are three parts to that, but it all goes together. All right, and then the second assignment, you know, it looks like two, but you're going to complete this test your memory. And it's gonna be one of these where it opens up into its own little, here we go. And you're gonna walk through, I'm not gonna hit next, because when you do, it's going to pop up a um, screen with different words on the screen. And it's going to give you like a little bit of time to try to memorize the words. And then you're gonna click to the next screen and try to recall which words were on that screen. Once you've done that, you go down here and you're gonna answer these three questions. How many words were you able to remember? Which words did you forget? And what techniques did you use to help you remember? So I, sometimes the, the quiz is a little funky. And once you an, enter your questions, it'll be like, oh, you missed some words, but then it doesn't tell you which words you missed. So if you want to like close out and then go back and relook, you're welcome to do that. So you can kind of see which words did you miss. We're gonna answer these three questions. How many words did you remember? 
Which words did you forget? And what technique did you use? Did you repeat? Did you come up with mnemonics? Did you come up with rhymes? And again, for this one, just do it and write submission right here in this area and then hit submit. So you have to complete the little survey before you answer the questions. All right, so in summation, there is no discussion form this week. So you're just completing these two assignments, chapter six assignment on the article, posing the question and answering the question, and then test your memory assignment. Both of these do by Sunday, and those also count as your weekly attendance. If you only complete one, you're gonna knock down to 50% attendance. So make sure you complete both assignments by Sunday. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great week.